Happy Saturday, guys. I thought I'd come on today and try my hand at doing a crafty vlog. Yes, I see a lot of YouTubers doing vlogs for travel, blogs for lifestyle, blogs for fashion. So why not try a crafty video blog, right? So I am attempting to let you know what I have on my plate during this vlog. Um, as some of you know, I've been doing my monthly crafting with a blessing, which I've enjoyed so much. Um, I take things that I have been blessed with to craft with, and I have one friend that we swap cards every month. I have another friend that I swap pocket letters, so guys, let me know if you're interested in seeing my pocket letters. I'll be more than happy to show those to you. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, too, was two ladies that have inspired me this month, and that is Natasha at Treasured Books. Now, Natasha does a lot of vintage and shabby chic projects, but as you guys, some of you know, I'm a clean and simple crafter. That's not really my style, but I have to say, she's getting me over to the dark side. <laughs> Just kidding, but she's getting me to like vintage and shabby. No, I'm thinking that I may be able to adjust her projects to my style. I'm going to try that out on the next one that I try from her. So she has this project where she uses books from, you know, from um, flea markets and thrift stores. So I have this one and I'll be working in this. And when I'm finished, I'll show you guys how it turns out. I can't wait to try that project. Of course, I have to cover it because it's very old, but the pages inside are fairly new. So I can't wait to try that project. So if you guys are interested in vintage and shabby chic projects, please go and check her out. I'll leave her name in the description box so you can check her out and see if that's a style that you like. I have to say, I was surprised that I got such high ratings and views on that video I did for the 6x6 paper journal. So that sort of sparked my interest to try some more projects with her. Then the next YouTuber I want to spotlight is Anne's Colorful Life. Now Anne's Colorful Life does coloring, she does life with her dolls, she does cat life, she does collage, she does whatever floats a boat, and that's what I like about her channel. She's not trying to do what Susie, Mary, and Jenny are doing. She's doing her own style, her own likes. At the moment, whatever she feels, that's what she's comfortable with. So I enjoy her channel a lot. She's encouraging me to do collage, to color more. As you guys know, I have done some coloring in the past, but I'm hoping that I can get back into my coloring life and do some collage also. I have a lot of magazines. So Anne, if you watch this video, please hit me up and let me know what type of magazine pictures you're looking for when you do your magazine collage. Because I have tons of books and I'll be more than happy to cut out some images and send them for you. So guys, tell me, um, when you do a project online, do you prepare ahead of time? Like, do you think about what you're going to video, or do you just go with spur of the moment and decide, well, I'm going to make this, and then I'm going to do the video? I'd like to know, because I don't really plan, other than certain things like, you know, crafting with a blessing, will I plan that? But I don't plan a date when I put it out. I just say, well, I have to do this project for this month. But do you guys plan by dates, or do you just plan when you finish your project, you make your video? Let me know so that I can see if it's a helpful tip for me or not. And um, also, I made a little list here. Um, yes, okay, that was the process of planning. Um, crafting with a blessing, I talked about that. And how do you feel about if I was to add Christian content to my channel, um, I would like to also do island lifestyle on my channel, or also decor, because as you know, some of you know I'm renovating, so I might do some decor. And I would like to know if you think I should do it on this channel, or if I should try to set a second channel up specifically for that. So these are just a few things I was thinking about, and I hope that you guys will 
leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it and what I should do. Give me some suggestions. I'm open to suggestions. I mean, this is how we learn and grow with each other, through the suggestions that we get, right? Anyway, I want to encourage you all to make sure you check out those lovely ladies I mentioned, Natasha at Treasure Books and Anne at Anne's Colorful Life. So have a wonderful and blessed day, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by my crafty vlog. And next time I'll have some crafty things to show you on my vlog. Have a blessed day. Bye now.